This is me. Just kidding. This is me. My name is Amanda, and welcome to my podcast where I will be talking about pop culture, music, film, drama, and fan videos. Welcome back to my channel, Always Popular. I'm Amanda, your host, and let's continue on with the summer series. Previously on my channel, I celebrated a big boy band anniversary on One Direction. This week's episode is going to be on one of the most anticipated TV shows of the summer, Harley Quinn. So first of all, for those who haven't seen the show, it's an American animated superhero series that's based on the misadventures of Harley and her best friend, Poison Ivy, after she leaves her boyfriend, the Joker, behind. It's also a dark comedy show that highlights, of course, more mature themes. And it's definitely not a kid's show. So this video is going to be on the anticipated premiere of the new season of season three that will be available to watch and stream on HBO Max this upcoming week. So let's introduce the characters. The main characters are, of course, Harley Quinn, voiced by the Big Bang Theory's actress, Kaylee Kiyoko, Blake Bell as Harley's best friend, Poison Ivy, and Barbara King. Glenn Tuttick. Multiple supervillains as the Joker, Clayface, Calendar Man, Dr. Trap, and Condiment King. Ron Funches as supervillain King. Mark, Tony Hale as Dr. Psycho and supervillain Felix Faust. Max Oberg as supervillain Kite Man. Killer Croc and KJ Beast. Jason Alexander, who is best known for being George in the hit show Seinfeld, plays ex CIA agent Psy Borgman. Christopher Mellon I as Commissioner James Gordon and JB Smoove as Frank the Plant. Alongside this big voice cast, there are many supporting voice actors as well. Little overview. So we know Harley isn't innocent as she is. In season one, she tried to prove herself as a strong, independent leader and villain without the help of the Joker. She started to form her own supervillain crew consistent of Poison Ivy, Clayface, Dr. Psycho, King Shark, and Cyborg. As soon as she achieves this, he ends up not talking to her friends and has to face problems with the Joker mainly from jealousy from the Joker, who can't stand to face the facts that she's successful without him. In the finale of season one, the Joker tries to kill Harley, but he fails to do so. Continuing on to season two, a newly formed villain league is formed. In the process, Harley tries to fight back with her crew to claim Gotham for herself. Meanwhile, Barbara becomes Batgirl. The Joker and Batman are revealed to be alive. Harley starts to develop feelings for Ivy. Dr. Psycho wants revenge on Harley for underappreciating him. Harley turns the tables on Dr. Psycho by joining forces with the other League of Villains. The biggest plot twist in the show, well, for this season, would have to be Harley and Ivy who end up having sex before Ivy gets married. Moving along to the finale, Ivy helps Kite Man get the venue for the wedding he wants. Meanwhile, Gordon gets frustrated for being underappreciated for saving Gotham. Another villain named Two-Face convinces him to arrest the attendant villains at the wedding he gets recognition and eventually run for mayor. Harley, who was in prison, ends up getting out. Despite the plans, Harley fails Gordon's plans when he gasses everyone in attendance and her causing the wedding to become a huge war between the villains and the Go Gotham City Police. His twist in the end is when Kite Man breaks up with Ivy, and Ivy finally admits she's in love with Harley. I gotta say, from all the clips I've seen, it's a really funny show, and most importantly, the portrayal of the LGBT community. When I was younger, I never saw any type of representation of the same-sex couples, particularly in animated shows, 
and the delivery of the satire and swearing come off as funny and entertaining and not offensive. So that would have to be my compliments for the show. So it definitely seems like it's going to be a fun show to watch and it will be available to watch on HBO Max this Thursday, July 28th. So once again, enjoy the new season and happy streaming. Once again, thanks for listening and watching and you'll hear me in the next episode.